Zevsta's Livonian Knights coming up next on Monster Hobbies. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, welcome back to another great unboxing video. My name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Say, are you looking for a great set of medieval knights to learn about history? Or maybe you've got a school project that's coming up and you want to build a really killer diorama? Or the final thing is, you might be a wargamer and you're looking for a brand new set of medieval knights for a great night of wargame battling. Well, if you are any one of those people, please join us now as we go down and look at Zevsta's Livonian Knights in 172nd scale. Livonia was located roughly where Latvia and Estonia are today. In 1202, Bishop Albert of Livonia founded the Brotherhood of the Sword, an order like the Teutonic Knights. The Brotherhood of the Sword were established to Christianize the surrounding pagan nations, but by 1236, they turned their aggression toward Russia and were defeated by Prince Alexander Nevsky at Lake Pipus. And now let's examine Zevsta's Kit 8016, the Livonian Knights. And here we've got our great box art. These guys down on the frozen plains, charging in. And as we turn the box over, we get a glimpse at how many are in the box. There are nine mounted and 24 foot soldiers. Four of this guy, three of these, four of those, three of this guy. <laughs> a horse with the standard bearer. Then we have our, our musician trumpeting in the knights. There's our champion, and we have some knights crouching with the pikes and shields, as well as crossbowmen, and men with swords, and of course some more knights charging in. And let us look at the contents of the box really quickly, and then we'll investigate our sprue a little bit better. So as we remove the box, we find two pieces of sprue molded in the silver color. There is one set of knights there with horses. And then of course we have our other set with the men crouching down. Now I'm going to put these to the side for a minute. One thing that is really cool about the Zevsta kit is that they have, although it's a one page instruction sheet, these are rules for the Age of Battles gaming system, which is a Zevsta exclusive gaming system. And it shows the shooting tables for your crossbowmen and the Livonian militia. And who everyone is, the standard bearer, the general. They call this guy another standard bearer, but he's actually just the right hand man. Mounted sergeants, knights, sergeants, and many others. Then when you turn it over, you also have their statistics for the game, such as mobility of 10, attack of 14, defense of 12, might 2, activity 10, psychological fortitude is 15, and they cost 45 points, 44 points, sorry, and then what the commander does. So very much like Warhammer and other great battle games, comes with this nice sheet. So now let's go look at the actual model pieces. The first character we are going to look at is the general. He is holding a mace and issuing orders. Note the fine detail on his helmet. Next up are the knights. Note the feathered helmets and detail on the shields. Here is the horse for the knights. A bit of paint will bring out the cloth details. Here is the crossbowman. The nice part of them is the separately molded crossbow which plugs into their arms. Here is some infantrymen ready to attack. Note the excellent detail of their clothes and helmets. Here is a sergeant of the infantry. Sergeants wore heavier armor and carried halberds. This is one of the Livonian militia. These troops were usually peasants. Each army needed a musician to sound out different calls in battle for different orders. Note the crisp detail in this casting. Here are the necks. These men are kneeling and it is easy to plug in their shields and weapons. Finally, we have the mounted standard bearer. 
A little bit of paint will bring out the great image on that flag for sure. And that will conclude our look at the Zevsta Livonian Knights. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review of Zevsta's Livonian Knights. And if you're interested in picking up this model kit, well, it is available here at Monster Hobbies. In fact, I'm just going to put it right back there on the shelf so you can come down and get it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and family, as well as join us on our Patreon account, and I will leave the link below. You can also check us out at www.monster-hobbies.ca, link below again. And I really hope you got a good history lesson out of this review. And until next time, happy model building! <laughs>